Water is the largest sector when it comes to climate change. Obviously, too little water and too much water, extreme. And then there's a drought and other part of the, I mean, the story. But these are two extreme which are very dangerous. We have, Nepal is a country which shares almost the watershed which is uh, close to Indus system. And uh, there's a lot of similarity in the watershed. We have today with us Mr. Arun is Sareshta from IC Mode. Very warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. What do you say about this? Too little water and too much water. Well, basically, um, you talked about Nepal. Um, I'm here in Pakistan. Um, there are similarities and differences. Um, Pakistan is uh, in Karakoram and Hindukus largely. Himalaya also, but mostly westerly dominated. Whereas Nepal is monsoon dominated climatic regime, Nepal is more uh, moist, a lot of rain, Pakistan is dry. Um, but with those differences, when it comes to climate change impact, as you have rightly said, uh, there are many different impacts, but one major impact is on water. and and those impacts manifest in simply two different forms. One is too much water and too little water. Too much water meaning floods, landslides, glacier lake outburst floods, that sort of thing, flash floods of different forms. Whereas too little water is about uh, water scarcity, not having enough water. So in, in summary, in, uh, this is basically what we are seeing. And in terms of those impacts, too much and too little water, Nepal and Pakistan share the same kind of uh, impacts. You know, both of countries are facing either too much water or too little water. What are the basic ingredients for the mitigation? How we can plan in advance to avoid these extreme situations? Well, uh, when it comes to climate change impacts, uh, there are basically two, three main, uh, you know, solutions. Now, to start with, everything is related to increased warming, climatic warming, and that in turn is related to excessive greenhouse gas emission, right? Um, so the first thing is to control the emission. And that is something which we can try within our, our geographies, but we all know that uh, our share of emission is quite low. Um, and therefore, it has to be a global effort uh, and not just our effort, right? So that, that is one. Uh, that is to actually control the root cause, the warming, atmospheric warming and all the uh, basic uh, climate change. Uh, but then what is very important is, you know, even with reduced greenhouse gases, we know that the impact will continue for several years. Um, and therefore, adaptation is very important. Adaptation meaning to, you know, reduce the impact of those changes, right? So adaptation. So now coming back to the issue of uh, too much and too little water, we need to adapt to too much and too little water. It's going to happen. It's happening. It will only exacerbate in the future. So we need to adapt to it. Um, so that is adaptation. And then there are many, many different ways to do that. Um, you can have efforts at local level, which is the most important uh, area of adaptation. Then uh, you also need to have adaptation at higher level, solution at higher level, uh, at country level, regional level, and then, you know, global efforts have to have, have right? So that's the second um, part of the um, solution. And the third is, uh, you know, despite all that, there will be damages, there will be hazards, infrastructure will be damages, there will be, you know, lands, uh, land being washed out, uh, you know, people being swept away. So losses and damages will happen. So the third thing is to, you know, work towards this loss and damage initiative within the climate negotiation and make it happen. And, and then, um, you know, arrange for certain uh, compensatory arrangements that way.
when such events happen, uh, compensations are given to the impacted people. So there are three, basically, three ways to deal with it. Do you think there's a, there's a lack of narrative building up to now on the climate change? Because obviously people at the horizontal level need to be, uh, need to be chilled in. So there's a strong narrative which which is the need of PR. Well, yes, I think we need to we need to uh, build the narratives. Yes, we need to uh, strengthen our uh, uh, understanding, of course, but also cases, right? Uh, the big challenge with climate change is attribution, right? You know, those floods, landslides, globes happened in the past also. Um, so it is always difficult to really say um, that yes, this is because of climate change. Uh, that is the big problem. But with passage of time, now more and more people are convinced that you know it is because of climate change. But we need to be, uh, build on that. That narratives has to you know build. Uh, we need more case studies. We need more evidences. You know, and and uh, it is since it is multi-sectoral, it's not just scientists telling that. It's it's a business of everyone. So mm -hmm. all all those you know sectors needs to come in and 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 chip into those. Uh, I think that's that that's the only way. Yeah. Thank you very much. You have just heard that no one alone can now handle this sort of a disaster. Climate change is a global phenomenon and we need global solutions. So everyone needs to gel in and the narrative forming on the climate change is the most important thing which can help in adaptation, mitigation into all the three processes. That's up till now. Bye.